So what is intelligence? While psychologists generally agree with what it is they're measuring when it comes to intelligence, like the person's ability to learn and remember information, to recognise concepts and their relations, and to apply the information to their own behaviour in adaptive ways, they disagree quite strongly about the nature of intelligence and how it works. There's two real camps in this debate. General intelligence, also known as G, and multiple intelligences. The general or G side of the debate is the idea that there's a thing we call general intelligence which underlies all of our abilities. For example, if someone is good at maths, they're probably going to be good at music because they're both driven by the one thing. The alternative perspective is the multiple intelligence perspective. You may hear people say something like, look, I'm not real good at math, but I've got really good emotional intelligence and I can connect with people. Gardner thought that we had a number of sub-skills that made up our intelligence. These were linguistic skills, musical skills, logical mathematical skills, spatial skills, bodily kinesthetic abilities, intrapersonal intelligence, and interpersonal intelligence. The idea is that these are actually quite independent abilities. There's no general intelligence underlying everything. You can be good at some of these, and not so good at others. They're just unrelated abilities. Gardner was the main proponent of that perspective. If we take a look at the diagram showing the structure of the waist measures, which of those two schools of thought do you think the waist is coming from? Do you think it's more consistent with general intelligence or multiple intelligences? Well, it's kind of tricky. There's lots of things that it measures. But the way it calculates IQ is that it assumes that IQ is a function of all of those things in some sort of related fashion. This is an example of a general intelligence model of how we should measure intelligence.